In Moore County, North Carolina, it's the painstaking process of trying to restore power to more than 30,000 residents. It's more emotional than anything else because yeah. you never know how to be prepared for situations like this. The investigation, just as labor intensive, but with little public information. Officials believe whoever is responsible for breaching and bringing down two power substations with gunfire had to know how the system works. All of it is raising new questions about the security of our nation's power grid. Protecting critical infrastructure like our power system must be a top priority. This kind of attack raises a new level of threat. Threats to electrical systems have increased in recent years, and while most do not impact customers, there have been at least 70 incidents nationwide of vandalism, sabotage, or physical attack at electric facilities this year alone. Are you concerned that something like this could happen again? Oh, I'm very concerned. John Wellinghoff is former chair of the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. How vulnerable are these stations? Well, to the extent that they have chain link fences around them, uh, that they're not secured, they're extremely vulnerable. We need to get more serious about this from a standpoint of having prescriptive requirements. In North Carolina, Duke Energy would not say whether their stations had surveillance cameras to capture those responsible. How were they able to access these areas so easily? Well, you know, we maintain hundreds of thousands of miles of overhead lines, equipment that's all around. It's, it's impossible to protect everything. We have robust security measures and requirements as an electric utility. And tonight, officials say they are now hoping to have power restored by the end of Wednesday. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.